What's going on everyone, it's Joe here and I'm bringing you guys the how to lurk video for Madden 16. This is not the how to user, this is basically a step above that. If you guys want to know how to user, I recommend you go check out the link in the description for Z Farrell's video on how to user. This is the next up step on how to lurk. So the main thing you want to distinguish between lurking and usering, lurking is baiting someone into throwing somewhere and you know you're going to be there. So the main thing I do is I kind of get familiar with plays and familiar with formations. So what you should do is just look through formations you see your opponent running a lot. If they're running strong close, you kind of know the few plays they're going to run. Wide receiver out, uh, the PA scissors, and probably a pitch. That, that And maybe the wide trail, that's about it. So you know that. When getting into the shotgun, it's a little different. Um, certain playbooks have certain variations, like the Packers have the doubles flex wing. But then they get into some unique... Uh, basically main brand formations like right here Y trips week in this you guys are going to know basically the main play in this that people love to run is either a stick and nod or the four verticals also you see people run the screen out of this formation the half back slip screen um, and also they'll run plays like curls or strong flood but you got to know the main plays they run are stick and nod and four verticals so when you see that formation you're thinking to yourself I'm going to watch the tight end for the vertical route, I'm going to watch the tight end for a stick and nod, or I'm going to be jumping a screen. That's what you got to be thinking to yourself. Um, and then there's that formation, you keep going through them, you know the bunch has that weird uh, vertical slash Seattle play, uh, you kind of stick on that, five wide has its own thing, so you guys are starting to get the concept. But when you see it in a play, this is when it gets different, so we're going to put ourselves up against four verticals, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you have to lurk. So. Your main job when you are lurking is you have to pick a route and stick to it. You basically have to say, where is my zone getting beat and where am I going to go meet it at? So for me, I am playing my cover three uh, defense where I like to lurk mostly out of. Uh, let me just set it up normal. So here's how it would look normal. And I'm saying, my guys should be able to cover everything else except for that Randall Cobb route because that route beats man to man and it beats cover three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back across the middle and snag it. So... With the snap of the ball, you're going to be watching back, you're going to be watching back, he throws it, and you're on that. Even though it was a lob, you were over there. You got to basically put yourself, make sure the window's open for a slight second, and then put yourself back over there where it is. I'll throw it once again, so snap of the ball, drop back, drop back, drop back, bullet pass, and you're right there. Somehow he came down with that, but I'll show you what I mean. So hop into the instant replay, and we'll get you a look at this. I know this is a basic play. But also as the game goes on, I'll explain a little in a few seconds what I mean by a little bit more advanced. But you're seeing it's, it looks like it's open. You are tracking it back, but it does look like it's open. And then he throws it, and you're making a break right for it. He still thinks he can fit it in because that's his main read, and you're making a break right for it. That is the essence of lurking. Um, what I mean by a, another type of lurking is when you're playing an opponent, he's running unique stuff. Uh, you'll kind of catch on to his tendencies and then you can lurk him and basically make him to think he still has the upper hand. What I'm showing you here is what 90% of people run out there in Madden. They run the base plays. And you got, and pretty much everybody could agree with me, people are running base plays a majority of the time. A big play is PA zone, and I'll show you what I mean by this. Um, it's not exactly the play PA read, but it's pretty close to it. Um, so give me one second, we get into my defense. Okay, so your, your opponent's running PA zone. The main play you guys see here is almost like a PA read. Um, it's when the, the running back Quarles is on a, is right here at the tight end position and you put him on a slant. That's usually the PA read type of play. And what I like to do here is when you're usering, you watch the, the inside route and you drop back to the further route. That's how you lurk someone. You you know the two routes because you know PA Reed has this concept where there's drags and slants across the field. You watch one and then you drop back to the other when you know they're going to pass it. So with the snap of the ball, so you're going to see you're watching the first one, he's going to throw it to the second one and you drop back to that. That time neither of them were open because he knew you were in the area. So but let me just show you through instant replay what I meant by that. So we hop back here. You're going to see snap of the ball. You're watching the Quarles, but then you, right there, when you think he was about to throw at his last possible chance, you're dropping back for him. You're dropping back to get into that area. That's the idea of lurking. You almost got to play a guessing. You have to anticipate. And the only way you're going to get good at it is by playing as much online as you can because then you'll see more plays, more plays that are used by people in different formations. And then through that, 
you're going to be able to jump routes that you know that you see coming. Basically like a curls play, you know when this guy runs curls flats. And basically picking up on your opponent, making a mental note of what he's running. Hopefully this guy's helped you out with how to lurk on Madden 16. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video, subscribe for more. And leave a comment, did this help you? Do you need me to explain anything else? Uh, is there anything I can answer to you guys in the comments? And what video do you guys want to see next? And I'll catch you guys all later. Peace.